Hello, everyone. I'm Marlene Choi, a professor of environmental engineering in the Department of Environmental Engineering and Earth Sciences here at Wilkes University. And it's my uh, privilege to tell you about a project that we've been working on. It's entitled the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Ch Protection Local Climate Action Program. And we're working with uh, Middleton Township, Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Our liaison there is Mr. Nick Valla, who's the assistant township manager. And we're working with uh, Middleton Township to help them do their greenhouse gas inventory and create a, a climate action plan. We've been working on this um, both the fall and spring semesters. We had the pleasure of working with uh, Ali Founts and Trevor Welsh, uh, two junior environmental engineering students who worked on it in the fall semester. Fortunate to have a senior environmental engineering student who is joining for the presentation today. And Kayla will be talking about the uh, what she's working on this spring semester. Give you a little background about this project. It's offered by the Pennsylvania Department of Environmental Protection's Energy Program. And in it, they're pairing uh, local go governments with college students across the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, the students are trained by the DEP contractor Equal USA on how to develop a greenhouse gas inventory and prepare a climate action plan. And they're learning how to use uh, ICLEI's clear path inventory tool to do the uh, both the inventory and prepare the action plan. And I'd like to turn it over to Kayla now, uh, who's gonna tell us how the, the project worked. Uh, so last semester, Trevor and Allie worked on creating the greenhouse gas inventory uh, for Middletown Township. Pretty much this just pushes for a community-wide standard for greenhouse gases. It uses the U.S. Community Protocol or the Global Covenant of Mayors uh, for climate and energy common reporting framework. So this inventory allows for a community to gain insight on the current uh, greenhouse gas emissions, and it helps uh, for future planning to reduce carbon emission or greenhouse gas emissions by creating the car the climate action plan. Uh, so the results of the greenhouse gas inventory they are still in process of being finalized, but the results are similar to other Pennsylvania communities. Uh, the results are broken up into the energy sector, so residential, commercial, and industrial, as well as the transportation sector, which has, um, they both have big opportunities um, for improvement, and then these um, sec these different sectors can be uh, incorporate targets and goals for the climate action plan. So currently what I'm working on this semester is creating the climate action plan. Uh, so once a greenhouse gas inventory is finalized, which will include forecasting of how the, of the greenhouse gas emissions for the future, we're currently working on community outreach and input. There is a survey already put out in the community to help uh, kind of gauge where awareness is of climate change and issues in the community and what uh, the community would like to see to kind of tackle some of these climate change issues. And some other ideas we have would be webinars, which is to help educate the community on some of these topics. Info infographics could also be used, used for education and awareness as well. And then open channels of communication because it's very important for the community to feel like they are able to, for their voices to be heard and feel like they are an active part of these changes as well. So after that, we'll finish up the climate action plan and then this plan will actually be adopted by the community so they could start seeing reduction in their greenhouse gases. All right, I thought we, we have a little bit of time left. Uh, we'll talk about the take home message from with uh, climate action. Uh, we know in Pennsylvania that there's been reports done that say the temperatures have increased by more than 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit since the last 20th century. And they're also expected to increase by an additional 5.4 degrees uh, by the year 2050. Uh, similarly, we've noticed that annual, annual precipitation events have increased approximately 10% since the early 20th century, and they're also expected to rise by another 8% by 2050, uh, with a 14% increase during the, the winter season. And this was a report done by Penn State University. And, you know, just hitting close to home, uh, these are some shots across from the Cohen Science Center during uh, the August of 2018, where we near had a near uh, flood event. So, so Kayla, I'd ask you, uh, what do you think? Uh, what do you, what lessons can we learn about, you know, climate change? Um, I just think that it's very important to kind of make sure you're constantly educating yourself on these topics. Uh, climate change is something that we're still learning about every single day about the impacts we have and what steps we can take to help reduce our effect on the environment. And then also, you know, take the time to try and 
figure out what your local government is doing. So for example, we're working at Middletown Township and we do have a very nice community of people who are very involved and we'd really love to see their township kind of take steps to help reduce greenhouse gases. Maybe go take a time, take some time to see what your community is doing and how you can get involved as well. Yeah, and as I said, we, we hope that uh, enthusiasm will be contagious because we'd like to see that up in, uh, in our area, up in northeastern Pennsylvania as well. And as I said, we're very fortunate to have very talented environmental engineers like Kayla entering you know, the, the, you know, the workforce very soon. They're going to be able to uh, address these challenges that we're going to face. So thank you again for the opportunity to, to share our thoughts about our project and you know, the great uh, work that these students have been doing. Uh, thank you and take care.